Hey, it's Andy with IT Supplies. We often host demos in our Chicagoland facility where customers want to see the two flatbed technologies that we offer. The Epson SureColor V7000 UV flatbed and the HP Latex R-Series flatbed. One of the key considerations as customers compare these two printers is the print speed and productivity. People want to know which one is faster. And today, we're going to show you. Print speeds and productivity speeds are similar, but they're not the same. Print speeds measure the time to print, while productivity takes into account all the other steps that have to be done to prepare, load, and actually produce output. Today, we're gonna narrow in on one product for our head-to-head -head speed test comparison, and that's yard signs. These yard signs are 18 inch by 24 inch, and we're gonna print these in higher speed production modes. You can see from these prints that the color density is still very strong and neither of these samples has any banding. So while we printed these in faster modes, both printers were up to the challenge without compromising on print quality. For the V7000, we're going to be printing in production bi-directional mode and on the HP Latex R1000, we will be printing in three pass mode. We're gonna do three different print tests. Our first test is going to be printing one yard sign from a cold start. Our second test will print nine yard signs that are pre-cut. And then our third test will be printing a four by eight nest of 10 yard signs that would be cut after the print is complete. These three tests give a good sampling of the different ways that you could use both printers and how their speeds in those different workflows will compare. Before we show the print speeds, if you haven't watched our three part head to head series between the Epson V7000 and the HP Latex R series, I would recommend you check that out. I would specifically encourage you to check out the video called Epson SureColor V7000 vs HP Latex R1000 Productivity Comparison. This video gets into the details of why the printers have different pro productivity capabilities and ideal use cases. Today, we're going to spend less time on the why and more time showing you how with a stopwatch. So let's do it. Our first print is on the V7000 and we are printing just one 18 inch by 24 inch sign. We're going to time lapse each of these, but this single print from the moment that we clicked print until it was finished was three minutes and seven seconds. When we perform the same single print on the HP Latex R1000, we had a print time of four minutes and 43 seconds from the click of print to the finish of curing. So the V7000 is more than 40% faster than the HP Latex R1000, right? Well, let's keep going with our tests. Next up, we are going to print nine individual signs, one after the next. First up is the Epson V7000. We're gonna let the film roll here, but before I get hate mail, I know that we could have created a template and measured out the spacing and placed all our signs efficiently across the platen, making sure they were positioned just right, and then we could have printed all nine of these cut signs at once and picked up some print speeds. But would we have picked up productivity? That's a lot of work on the front end. So the printing of nine individual sheets, one after the next, we have a total print time of 37 minutes on the Epson V7000. Now on the HP Latex R1000, we are able to use HP's N-Up pin system to easily set up a print job of nine cut signs and very efficiently print three at a time in three rows that are fed one after the next. You can see how Tim is able to tailgate three signs right after the row in front of it has begun printing, creating a continuous printing cycle that is very productive. These nine individual signs had a total print time of just under seven minutes. So compared to the 37 minutes on the V7000, the R1000 is five times faster than the V7000. So that settles it, the R1000 is way faster. Well, hold on, let's do our last test. For this last test, we've nested 10 signs together on a single four foot by eight foot piece of corrugated plastic. After the printing is complete, we would cut these out with a trimmer or CNC or table cutter. This is the fastest way to print several pieces, but may lead to less productivity if you don't have the systems in place to efficiently cut out the prints afterwards. So first up is the Epson V7000. The V7000 printed our 10 nested signs on a four by eight sheet in a time of just under 13 minutes. And now on the HP Latex R1000. The R1000 printed our 10 nested signs on a four x eight sheet in a time of just under seven minutes. So the V7000 at 13 minutes and the R1000 at seven minutes. 
The R1000 is nearly twice as fast as the Epson V7000. So there it is, that must be the definitive answer. Well, as you can see, there is no definitive answer of which printer is faster. A lot of it depends on your workflow and how you intend to use the printer. Do you print cut pieces or nested 4x8s? Do you print the same size cut pieces over and over or different sizes? Do you print one at a time or longer runs? Both of these printers have use cases where they are the best printer for the job. And both of these printers have use cases where they would be a poor choice. And that is why it is so important to visit a demo facility that can show you both printers printing your products with your files using your workflow. We hope you'll choose to come visit IT Supplies the next time that you're evaluating flatbed printing or any other print technology for that matter. We want to be a resource to help you test and validate to find the best printer for your needs. You can reach out to us at itsupplies.com to speak with the sales rep and schedule a demo. If you found this video helpful, please like the video, comment below, and subscribe for more videos like this one. Thanks.